try to get noble quarters. You know what? We should probably dismantle. Yeah, we should, we should probably dismantle these guys over here. We can't dismantle this, but that's okay. I guess that's like part of the building. Ooh, we can get that though. Yeah, that should be really good. Unaddressed. Ooh, oh. Sign tradition? Okay. I completely didn't see that. Wow. That is my bad. Alright, so what is Mitra, so to speak, this um this group? Yay, I can change the emblem. Woohoo! Alright, uh Wow. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I guess accomplished archers? Yeah, they're more of an archer group. If I could be totally honest. So let's try to select that. Thank you. We have two archer groups right now. That is definitely unhealthy. We need to diversify. Then again, I am party. I'm just using my strengths right now. We really don't need another six food. Too much food. Our population is going to go fat. For the early parts of party in history, things are sure chaotic as hell. And the Seleucids aren't interested in fighting me, so I can just do whatever I want. We should probably change one of these um, groups to a different specialized ability. One of your family members is getting blackmailed. Minus 1300. Support nobles. And what, he has three? Uh, 13? You know, that's interesting. Do I take away a court noble and 1300 treasure or do nothing and just lose gravitas? I think I'd rather lose gravitas. Poison words. Alright, good, good. And right now, I think these cities are kind of coming back. Yeah, they're definitely coming back. Minus five unhappiness, plus one positive one happiness. That's good. And we'll be able to increase that even more so with these. Let's just check what, what we can build. Okay, yeah, with these shrines. I was about to build something else. Uh, well, I was going to build the shrine like at first, but I wanted to see really what the other buildings do. So building shrines is probably the way to go. We probably should build the shrine over here, so how should we do that? I guess we build a new building. Because right now the farms are doing well for me. Alright. Once the shrine is built, we may be able to go in and just conquer more provinces because of the amount of public order we'll have from those shrines. We have two public order coming in every turn from those shrines, so pretty good. Pretty good amount. Oh, here comes a war. Okay. It's going to be massive, gentlemen. Massive. Do we have any archers? He doesn't have archers. Okay, I don't care. That's good. We do have a better, a bigger military, actually. But he definitely has a massive military as well. Alright. Okay. Let's fight this. Now. The Battle of Bukhara. And we have a garrison army coming in, which is good. He has a couple of spearmen units, some slingers, and some kind of... Is that median cavalry? I'm not sure if that's median cavalry. Okay, so... We have some mobs. Now, mobs are very light melee infantry. So let's go ahead and just put these guys probably right over here at the defense of this area. Actually, we only need two guys over here. He doesn't have any range units, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Is that Persian? That is definitely not Persian. Why Why are we fighting in a uh, uh, Roman city? What? That's lame. Come on, CA. We're Partia. We don't have these type of buildings. And let's go in and send in two spearmen units. So we're going to have... Some mobs 
And we'll have two spearmen units to back them up. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yep, there we go. That's good. Put these two over here. The mobs will be right behind them. Just to kind of give them more um, melee attacks and stuff like that. And what are these guys? What are these guys? Hold on. Oh, they're just horse archers. Okay. And they're noble horse archers. And this spearman group can actually go over here. So we have a good defense of that side. And these two horse skirmishers can go to this side while these guys can... Oh, wait, wait. This is their army. Hold on. Okay, they're just coming in from here. So we can just take this entire side. Put them over here. So let's do that. Let's take these two units. Just put them inside. The mob can stay over here while these guys... There we go. Well, these guys go over here and block this off. Alright, that's good. And I guess we could just, like, take these guys off and just put one of these guys over here. Just in case of any flanks. And we'll have two double spearmen groups over here. With the mobs just backing them up. And the horse searchers. Now, we need to take care of that gap, so... We'll probably use the rest of our units. Slingers, that's good. And noble horse archers as well. We'll probably take that spearman that's overlapping the other spearman and just put him over there. And we should kind of end it off with a little bit of a bang. There we go. So this is our middle group. This is our left flank. And this is our right flank. Alright, it's okay. And we have this guy just... Chilling out. Alright, so what is our enemy doing, so to speak? Well, right now, I have no idea. Formations-wise, I have no formations available, which actually sucks. Well, I could do it for the Noble Horse Archers, but... That's way different. Yeah, we should just, like, fight it in this position. Alright, so he's moving up on the eastern part. He has some levee pikemen, some bacterian hillmen. He has some... What is that? Hellenic cataphracts. Okay. He has eastern spearmen. So he kind of has the relatively... Um, you know, a close army to me, actually. Which is strange, to say the least. Do we have any bombardment over here? I don't think so. Oh, he's gonna funnel down one area. Oh, no. Oh, no. That better not happen. Oh, thank God. Okay, we're definitely just gonna pelt them as they come in. Look at these guys. They're just like, oh, I'm so eager. And guess what? Guess what? Fuck you. Frenzy charge, motherfucker. Oh, here comes the units. Could probably stop them over here. Same with these guys. Okay, good. Let's just funnel them all in. And these guys can continue puzzling them about. I think I'm just going to go around and actually uh, flank these guys. Because they're funneling, uh, funneling themselves into this hallway way too much. Probably just go around with my missile troops as well. And right now we have a few cav groups still uh, firing at this kind of military force over here. Oh my god, they are routing so much. We were able to do such a good amount of damage by funneling them. That's really good. You always want to funnel your opponents, guys. Always. Really? Well, that's just one man. I guess we can move in our noble horse archers to inspire our soldiers over here. Well, actually, they are mobs, so I don't expect them to actually stay. Whatever. We use the horse skirmishers to just pelt these guys up in the backside. Shoot arrows into their spine and rip them off. You know, all good things. Alright, wow, we won that battle. It's pretty smooth. That was definitely pretty smooth. 
We did lose uh, two units of mobs, but then again, they're only garrison units. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not too worried about garrison units. Yeah, we lost no troops of our own, except for garrisons. But he lost quite a bit of units. We definitely were able to fight them off. So let's see. Uh, just lost 1,000 guys. We can probably kill the captives because I'm evil. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. So if they're over there. And our other enemy is up north on our tail, so to speak. Then two separate armies attacking two different regions would probably be the best thing to do. Oh wait, is it our concealed agent? Probably is. Yep, there he is. How may I serve you? Well, he's just looking about, seeing the territories. All of these territories are the same as mine. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't need you to sabotage. Just need you to scout. I really need you to just scout. 13 more public order? That's nice. Ah, so that's their entire military, and they have a veteran unit over here. Let's go to Murph. These guys have about four minus public order, which is fine. This shrine over here should fix this public order. And we have an eastern hamlet over here, which increases my economic growth quite a bit. But if I'm totally honest, I probably want to delete the farm and get a shrine. In fact, we're probably going to do that right now. Okay, so this is the game plan. We're going to delete the shrine. I mean, not delete the shrine. Delete the farm and increase our public order in these two provinces. So... We're just focusing on really keeping order these provinces once the order is kept to a neutral or to a positive. We're just going to go in and conquer these last two provinces and then focus on our economy right now overall. I do believe we're still at war with two different civilizations. That's okay. Technology wise, we're going to get these kind of tech trees which will allow us to get even more economic growth and stuff like that. In fact, it wouldn't be too bad to get trade language. In fact, we're probably going to have to get trade language in order to survive, really. So, economy is probably a tech tree I should focus on afterwards, after getting these uh, tech trees, so to speak. Because this allows me to get some population growth and growth in, in my cities. And growth in your cities is always pretty good. We could get a farm, but we already have an excess amount of wealth and food. Well, not food, but, uh, not, uh, well, but food. Anyway, my name is Master Waffles. Please like, subscribe, favorite, and share it all over the world, this video. And for more videos like this, stay tuned. Peace out.